Things were still pretty slow around the rail yard today as investigators scrambled to sort out how a runaway rail car got loose. The company responsible in damage control. We're pretty disappointed uh, that we allowed that to, to happen uh, under our watch. The rail car had just been loaded with asphalt at the co-op oil refinery in the northeast corner of Regina. Just before midnight on Tuesday, it started to roll, and away it went on a slight downward grade nearly four kilometers into the city, just north of downtown. It crossed seven major streets until it hit a flat patch and stopped on its own. This is a CN rail line, but can -Do Rail Services was running the operation. It's, it's a crew error. Uh, we made a mistake. And uh, it simply comes down to human error, uh, not uh, securing uh, brakes properly. There are handbrakes which should be applied. This is exactly the same as the handbrakes on the train at Lac Megantic, which was left overnight uh, without enough brakes applied. It came to a stop in a residential neighborhood not far from a toy store and a mall. It's an accident waiting to happen. And I'm scared because, you know, kids are around and there's lots of kids in this area, so it's... What questions would you have? Why? And how did we not know about it? She's not the only one asking that question. The city of Regina was not notified, and so before we point fingers anywhere, I want to know why that happened. The Transportation Safety Board is investigating. Asphalt isn't a dangerous good. However, that's little comfort to those who know toxic and flammable substances routinely move through the city by rail. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.